What's going on everyone? So today we're going to be doing something a little different. Now we always talk about the artwork, we always talk about inspiration, art block, all that kind of stuff, but we rarely talk about the tools. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been using as a work machine for the past couple months. It is the Asus ZenBook Duo 14. Now Asus was kind enough to reach out and say, we got this new laptop, we want you to check it out, we want to see what creatives like you can do with it, and it did not disappoint. So I want to thank Asus for sending over this laptop. It is beautiful, it is amazing, and I can't wait to dive in. So let's dive in. So we're just going to check out the outside of this laptop for now. Just a really quick look. It's so sleek, so gorgeous, so beautiful. Got this celestial blue colorway, just really unassuming, no bells and whistles, just a beautiful machine. But then you open it up and oh, 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 what? what? The ZenBook Duo 14. If you haven't gotten why it's called that yet, then I don't know. It's got two screens, a 14 inch full main screen and then a full HD and support touch screen, screen pad plus. Now it's got all the normal stuff, a laptop would have, of course, great keyboard, great clickiness. The uh, trackpad right here, now you might think it's small, but it does all the stuff it's supposed to. It's got, it's got an HDMI, USB-C, USB, all the stuff. And then right in the middle really is the crown jewel of this machine, the ScreenPad Plus. So there was a ZenBook Duo before, but they really improved the way you use the ScreenPad Plus. It tilts upwards now, which you might think is not a big deal, but when you're working like this, you don't want to be craning your neck over just to see what's on the screen. You don't want to sit back, relax, and be able to watch it. And that's exactly why it is. It's more ergonomically designed, especially since because it tilts up, it's got this cool new cooling system right here underneath it. So not only is it helping you work much better, but it also cools the laptop just by design. Isn't that cool? Is engineering? Isn't engineering cool? I think it's pretty cool. So there you go. So now you can comfortably watch videos while you work. You can comfortably keep all your assets in here on the second screen as you are creating, as you're designing, as you're editing videos. It's all on the second screen. You don't have to crane your neck. You can just sit back, relax. It's normal. So let's turn it on. So while the ScreenPad Plus is amazing on its own, it looks amazing, it tilts up, it's ergonomic, it works just the way you need it to. It also performs amazing as well. Now you could use it as a second screen, like I said, to put your videos in. You could be working on the main screen and watching YouTube clips, Twitch streams, educational videos on the second screen. You could also put in several different little windows on the screen. So you could be watching several things at the same time. You could be working on Photoshop on the main screen while watching videos and looking at your reference photos on the second screen and everything is touch supported. Everything is, you drag, you drop, you know? Everything is touch supported and pen support, which we'll get into much later. The second screen can be used as an extension of the main screen. So you could pop up your video and just drag it down and say, I want to look at the whole thing and bam, you're looking at the entire screen extended to the second screen, if that's your thing. It could also be used as a touch pad. So you go into touch pad mode. So if you need a bigger trackpad, use this as your trackpad. And if that doesn't do anything for you, if you don't want to be using the second screen, if you think it's using a lot of battery or you don't need it for the time being, you could always turn it off. Now, what is brand new about the second screen is not only that, you know, the design, the engineering of it, but also the programs. They've introduced Screen Expert 2.0. Now, Screen Expert 2.0 is a program that helps you create. It has the Adobe Control Panel I'm using it right now. So when you're doing your artwork, you're looking at a little, your artwork here. No longer do you have to click around for your tools. No longer do you have to struggle with looking for the right brush, brush sizes, opacity, all that. It could be all right here. You could adjust the brush size from right here on the control panel. You can adjust the layer opacity from 100 to zero if you want. You could adjust your layer zoom out. You could adjust your brush flow, everything. And most importantly, the control panel is actually customizable. So if you like to change brush size to something else, you want to change clone step to something else, rearrange it, reconfigure it the way you want to, it's all yours. But it's really there to really smoothen, streamline, 
and make workflow a whole lot more enjoyable. And it's not just for Photoshop, you can be using the control panel for After Effects, Lightroom, and Premiere Pro. More on the way. And really, it's there to help creators like you and me make stuff as easy, as quick, and as enjoyable as possible. Now, personally, I use this laptop as my main work machine. So when I'm working on projects, I'm usually sketching my design on Photoshop or on any kind of notebook app and using the touch pen and just drawing away jotting down ideas. Maybe I'm watching videos, maybe I'm watching a class, taking a class online, and I'm writing down notes, I'm typing down notes using the second screen. Or sometimes I'm doing something boring, sometimes I'm doing research, or sometimes I'm drawing in my sketchbook and I wanna enjoy stuff, I have my reference photo up here. While I'm watching a Twitch stream, or I'm watching a YouTube video on the second screen. That way, you know, I don't have to miss anything. Whereas before, it's multiple windows all over the place. Here you can have one screen dedicated to your main work, and then your second screen dedicated to other more enjoyable things, Spotify, YouTube, videos, your files, whatever it may be. So yeah, personally I use it as a, as a trusted, true companion to my workspace, to my workflow. I just can't work without it being on and just either looking at reference photos, watching Netflix, doing all that stuff. It's just there and I'm just happy that it can do all the stuff that I needed to do for my work. Now it's really streamlined my workflow because sometimes you can get so jumbled up with how many things you need to open or you need to really strain your eyes to look at things. Sometimes when I'm editing videos or making animations on After Effects, it, the, the, the layout could be very small. You know, whether or not you have a big laptop or everything, you know After Effects has a small layout. Sometimes you can just drag over the assets to the second screen and that way I'm using the whole main screen to look at what I'm making while having all the, the technical stuff in the second screen. Also when I'm using Photoshop, if I'm not using the control panel, I have all my reference photos, I have all my assets, all my all my logos in the second screen, and you just, instead of opening multiple windows, looking for them, navigating, you just go down to your second screen, click on whatever you need, and then drag it up to Photoshop. Simple as that. So yeah, my verdict for the ZenBook Duo 14 is, it's amazing. I mean, you can't go wrong with a laptop that really lets you be as creative as possible without having to worry about can your machine handle your mind? Can your machine handle what you need it to do? Because you can trust that it can. I haven't been let down by its performance so far. Whatever I need as a artist, as an illustrator, it's all there. The Adobe programs work beautifully. It runs multiple apps at the same time. Smoothly, no problems whatsoever. It's just there and it does all the stuff I need to do, whether it be drawing, sketching, making things for clients, editing videos, or making paperwork, you know, PowerPoints, documents, PDFs, it does all of that and more without a hitch. So I strongly recommend this laptop, the Asus ZenBook Duo 14 for creatives, for any creator, because it can do all of that and more. I strongly recommend it for professionals who need a lot of, you know, a lot of screen, a lot of things to look at, a lot of multitasking to, to get through because it really does that beautifully. Now if you're looking for something a little more powerful, your job is a little more demanding, let's say you're doing 3D or architecture CADs or anything like that, there is a pro version coming out very soon. Um, not allowed to say when, but keep your eyes peeled, it's gonna be amazing. But yeah, I have nothing negative to say about this laptop. If you're anything like me, there's a lot of work, there's a lot of thinking, a lot of decision making, a lot of multitasking going on in your job and in your life. This laptop is perfect. It does everything you need to do and more. You can check the link in the description for the full list of specs, also where you can order one, also the price list and all that good stuff and more updates from Asus Philippines over on that. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. If you're looking to upgrade your setup, if you're looking for a powerful laptop and do the things you need to do, I strongly recommend picking this one up, checking it out, trying it for yourself because it will not, will not disappoint. So yeah, so. Thanks for watching and uh, stick around for more because this is not the end. We still got more stuff coming.